you absolutely can communicate with your dog. Here's how. While their primary form of communication is body language, dogs can actually learn up to 165 words, even more with extensive training. If you feel naturally compelled to use high-pitched, sweet-sounding tones when you're talking with your dog, there's actually good reason for this. It is the best way to get their attention, especially in a really noisy environment. And yes, this includes kissy noises and whistles. If you think your dog is smiling at you, you're right, dogs really do smile when they feel happy and relaxed. So you better smile back. Use your leash. Your dog can actually tell if you're in a carefree or tense mood just based on how loosely or tightly you're holding onto the leash. If you're in a noisy or otherwise threatening situation, make sure you confidently hold onto the leash because this will make your dog feel more confident and at ease in the situation as well. Wide eyes winking or blinking means that your dog is in a really playful mood, so go ahead. Wink back. Just make sure you don't stare because this is a dominant behavior that shows that you're looking for a challenge. Don't say no. If you want to effectively communicate with your dog, you have to teach them what you do want, not what you don't want. So if your dog jumps up on you to say hello, instead of saying no, try saying sit. If your dog raises their paw to touch you, pay attention. It usually means they want something, even if it's just to play. Better not leave them hanging. 